Race five, the starting stalls will be set at the 1800 meter mark and they hopefully will be sent home at 10 to 3, 1450 for a graduation plate which is for maidens, one and two time winners. A very, very, well, maybe not say, I'll just say very once, a very tough race. <laughs> There's a couple of horses in here, Graham, that have bright winning chances. If ratings are anything to go by, shareholders should win and win well. Yeah, he's weighted to win this by uh, a good number of lengths, but uh, we have to go back a long time for his last win. And although um, he has been racing in some very good company, he did disappoint in this class, a graduation last time out. He's rated, his race ratings 106, Jacqueline 97 is race rated second. So as you can see, there's uh, quite a gap. So I've uh, tipped Shell to third in deference to his rating and hoping he'll find some form because uh, Paul Lafferty over the time has made no secret of the fact that he thinks he's a top horse, but Shell has got to start delivering now. Sorda Street, Paul Peter comes into town with a contingent of good runners. This is a very interesting horse. He won his maiden by nine lengths, beating the Derby winner Correct. out of your league. And then obviously he was off for a year. His comeback run was good, third to sell high. Um, and he could be anything, so he could be much better than his current ra rating. Um, so I've given him the bene benefit of the doubt of tip number nine, Sorda Street, to win it. Uh, but this is second run after a long rest. He's got to travel. There are a lot of ifs and buts and question marks. Uh, you have to include number three, Jacqueline. Obviously, as a mayor, she's up against some tough campaigners here uh, amongst the Colts and the Geldings. Uh, but she is rated to run second. She's got a good draw. She's in good form. Um, then you've got the likes of Colour My Fate, Donald, MacDonald, uh, and a few others that might have a say in the race. Uh, Bayview Express might even come back to his best form. So as you opened up by saying it's a graduation plate, normally these races are a little bit easier than handicaps, uh, but this one not necessarily so. Going back to Bayview Express, I mean, just confirm with me, you, we're happy to draw a line right through that last performance. He, he's, he's had valid excuses. He's been rated by the stable. Uh, Yogis Govan has made no secret that he's a nice horse in his post-race interviews. Uh, blinkers go on. I think you can expect a lot better. He will certainly run better than he ran last time um, and, and has a competitive chance here. It's a tricky race. It's a tricky race. Uh, I've narrowed it down to nine. Sorda Street to win it from three. Jacqueline, six. Shelder and two. Donald McDonald. But there's a possibility that the winner could come from, from the balance. Cut of my fate, interesting when I had a look, lightly raced Colt by Master of My Fate. I see 1800 meters, but the only win for Cut of My Fate's come over 1400. So for me, I think there'll be no problem with the 1800. No, I think that Frank Robinson uh, obviously feels he'll need further. I think he said that in one of his uh, previous interviews. And we're chatting to Frank, so we'll hear what he's got to say. Okay, that's race number five, the graduation plate, a tough race. Uh, and as Graham said, even a horse like number two, Donald McDonald, who seems to have serious amounts of talent. A trappy race, let's see how it unfolds.